fighting guys. These scrap yards are probably one of the worst occupational health and safety places I've ever seen. It's a good workplace. Oh, H and S, don't you reckon, guys? There's no way I'd ever work in a scrap yard. Too freaking dangerous. Breathing in all asbestos dust and all that crap. G'day guys, well, alloyed scrap metal is burning down guys, because they rejected a heap of my scrap metal, my brass, and also guys, bad news, they don't want me back, reason being because it took me too long to fucking unload it, no one helped me, not one person helped me guys, I did it all by myself, anyway, it's a long story, I'll explain that later. G'day guys, well Allied Scrap Metal is burning down. What's happening is there's a big shipping container full of copper. So obviously something's reacted and the fire brigade's just turned up and you can just see the smoke. I'll stand up guys. So you can just see over there guys, the fire brigade are over there and there's a big container on fire. Alright guys, I'm going to take off now. See ya. Well guys, all I can say is it's been a really long an exhausting day, the dogs are exhausted, it's just gone 3 o'clock. Sophie's been really naughty, that's why she's so quiet. She bit me and Cindy before, she accidentally bit me, but she deliberately bit Cindy because she was really, really hot and overwhelmed with all the noise from the scrapyard. And I grabbed um, Cindy and Sophie latched onto my hand accidentally. Anyway guys, as I just said previously, I've more or less been um, told by Allied Scrap Metal not to come back again. The reason being is because apparently that I took too long. I, I, um, my scrap metal was not sorted. Well, it was sorted. The only stuff that wasn't sorted was that huge big pile of aluminium in the back of my truck, which was uh, domestic aluminium, extrusion aluminium, and cast aluminium. I know the real reasons, guys, and I won't tell you that right now, but I will tell you in the next week or so, so stay tuned for that.